Hey there, remember a few videos ago I made this pack here. This is a booster battery pack to charge the Blue Eddy AC200 uh, solar generator box, power box, whatever you wanna call this. Okay, so a lot of people had a question. Uh, a lot of people seem to be asking if this power pack will work the same uh, on the Blue Eddy 150, which is these I don't know, I guess you would describe this as the little brother to the AC200, right? Even though it's about, yeah, it's smaller and it's got a slightly smaller battery, but it's got, uh, yeah, you guys know what this is, right? Yeah, is this not turning on? This might be completely dead. So anyways, I didn't know the answer to that, right? And so I decided to test it out. And so in order to test it out, then I need to make a cable that goes from this guy right here, which is an XT60 uh, male, to this input cable here. Now, I don't have that connector other than on my charger here. I'm pretty sure I got one to charge solar in here, but I don't know where it's at. So you might have this connector with your uh, Blue Eddy, right? But in case you don't, what I ended up doing here is I took the charger and I cut the cable and then I put this plug here. This is an XT90 connector, right? And what that will allow me to do is now connect this one here, right? And then use another connector, another cable here to convert that one into this one. So let's, let's do that one, connect it and see if this will start charging. All right, here we go. You're gonna have to use the same weird uh, female to female, female XT60 to female XT90 cable that I show on the uh, original video of this, right? So let's plug it in. So there we go, it's plugged in and it seems like this guy has started charging. There we go. You can make this pack charge your blue eddy 150 yeah i think this so this is 150 it's charging at 350 watts there you go yeah this unit was completely dead so um we'll see how much it charges so there you go, it's charging. Don't reason why it's charging 339 watts is because this port has a little 10 amps. So this is 33 volts right now, 10 amps is 339, right? So so the actual uh, input here is what's uh, bottle, the bottleneck. Uh, this has 1.2 kilowatt hours. This is 1.5. So it's gonna charge it to about 90%. So there you go. If you want to see how I made this, I'm going to put a link to the video where I show you how I make this to be used for that. But as it turns out, it works for this too on the description of this video. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. All right. Here is what you're going to need. A case, a charger, a BMS, a couple of cables, and three of these battery packs. Let's put this thing together. So the case comes with this foam. You're not gonna need it, you can discard it. You can leave the top one, because this one you're gonna, you can leave it on there. It helps keep these batteries tight in here, right? So these batteries don't fit in there. Well, actually one of them fits in here, but the other ones don't. So what you have to do is you have to cut these, uh, these pieces of plastic that's here. It just overhangs, it's really easy to cut it. And then once you do that, then you can have all of your batteries fit. We put installed the uh, XT60 connector here, right? And then put the cables. And the cables are just uh, 12 gauge silicon wire and they're just long. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by plugging those Top one thing. 
So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut this cable here and then cut this cable right here. Strip back the cable. Solder this cable right here. No, no, let's try this guy. So that battery is gonna go there like this. Then from there we're gonna solder another one that's gonna go to this one and then from there another one. All right, so you guys see here, positive goes to positive, to positive, to positive, negative goes to negative, to negative, to negative. Now, the next step is to connect the balance leads or the BMS. That's it, the battery is done. You're, you're connected. But now we need to install the BMS. This is a uh, 36 volt, 60 amp continuous co common port. So it's the same one to discharge and to charge. The blue cable is the B minus, which means it's the battery minus, which means it's gonna go right here. So the hard ones are the plus and minus because they go all the way down here. But all you do is you just, just, you know, cut it here. All right, here we go. Here we go. I have wired this stuff in here. This is, you just go from point uh, VC10, right? And then you go to the VC10 on the other pack, on the other pack, all the way down. VC9, VC8, VC7, all the way to one, right? And then that's how you wire it. Now let's wire in the BMS. All right, so I just glued it in here with double-sided tape, right? Tape to put all these little wires on here. And uh, I taped the BMS. Uh, we're gonna put the connector here, but before we do that, we're gonna connect the big cable. Uh, the B minus is supposed to go into the battery, right? And then this one right here is supposed to go on to the connector right there. We're gonna solder, cut those and then solder them in there. Put some shrink tube and let's do it now. All right, here we go. Now they're charging. Let's talk about charging and chargers. There are different chargers you can get. I'm gonna link this one here. This one charges at 72 watts. It would take about 17 hours to charge this but if you don't need to quickly charge it if you just need to charge it uh overnight for example then this charger might work you just uh connect it uh on any plug including the plug from the ac uh the blue 80 ac 200 right if you were to plug that in there while you're charging the blue eddy then this battery would charge but it would charge really slow at the rate of 72 watts. You can get something bigger. This one right here is a power supply that you can control, right? You can control the voltage. And in this, in this instance, I, I set it at 40, well, at 41 and 0.8 or something like that, just below 42. And then uh, you can control the amperage. This will go all the way to 480 watts which means that it'll take about three hours to charge this battery. So right now it's at 41.6 and it's tapering down right now to eight and a half amps, which means that this battery is almost 100% charged, which then would put it ready to then test with our Blue Eddy over there. Uh, another thing here, now that this is all tidied up, this is what it looks like, right? Here's the BMS. I just use uh, double-sided tape to kind of glue all the cables together. Uh, one last thing is when you closed it, then the BMS would, it would, 
he would feel some pressure and it, it wasn't even outside. So what I did here, I just, well, I just made a hole on the actual uh, foam here. And so the, that allows you now to do is to put that foam in there. And now you shall be able to close it. No problem. There we go. There we go. Look at that. And now there's no, there's no hump. So now just imagine there is your 1.2 kilowatt hour booster pack. And if you wanted to make another one, then you could just put it up on top like that. Oh yeah, let's not forget our little handle here. All right, so there we go. This is your booster pack. This is what it looks like. All you would need after that is an adapter cable that goes from an XT60 to an XT90, right? Both of these have to be female, right? Because then that allows you to plug them in here. Then you can use your cable that comes with your Blue Eddy, the one that looks like this. This is the one to charge via solar when you connect it in here now. Okay, so now it recognized it, right? And it starts charging at 476. That's just under 500 watts, right? So it starts charging it. Right now it's at 95%, but it's going to go to 100%. At full capacity with using the Blue Eddy, let's say that you connect something that uses 2000 watts, then it's only gonna last about 40 minutes, right? 35, 40 minutes. By adding one of these, then you can extend that to an hour and 20 minutes, right? If you were to add two like this, then you're looking at about two hours worth of uh, runtime, right? So that you could really extend the life of your Blue Eddy, uh, the capacity of your Blue Eddy, right? So if you if just have that, the needs, you need more than one and a half kilowatt hours, right? That is usable on this, then you could do this. You could just keep adding these, you know, you can build three or four or five of these. And then you have like a really, really big battery that will last you for a very long time. So there you go. That's a quick, easy and affordable way to build a booster pack for your Blue Eddy. You can find links to the wiring diagram and a full list of parts used on this project on the description of this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.